Climate change is a big problem. Land clearing, intensive farming, burning fossil fuels like oil, natural gas and coal. These human activities all produce greenhouse gases. We need to slow down and reverse global warming. And it's gases like carbon dioxide or CO2 that we need to reduce. The Australian coal industry knows it plays a role in the problem. And we want to play a role in any climate change solution. That's why we're investing a billion dollars in carbon capture and storage. It means we capture the CO2 emitted by burning fossil fuels, compress it into a liquid which is transported to a storage site, then store it safely and permanently deep underground. There are hundreds of active carbon capture and storage projects worldwide. This video will show you some of the key methods being used. In pre-combustion capture, coal is combined with oxygen to create a gas. It's made up of carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Adding water to this gas causes a reaction. It converts the carbon monoxide into hydrogen and CO2. The CO2 can be safely captured, while the hydrogen is burned to drive a turbine and generate electricity. It can even be used to feed fuel cells for cars. In post-combustion capture, the fossil fuel is burned as normal. But before the flue gas travels up the chimney, it passes through an absorber column. This is filled with liquid solvents called amines, which absorb the CO2 before it can enter the atmosphere. Superheated steam is then passed through the chimney. This releases the CO2 from the amines, and it can now be safely captured. The last of the key capture methods is the oxy-fuel process. Before combustion, nitrogen is stripped from oxygen in an air separator. The leftover oxygen is then purer than the normal air we breathe. When combusted with a fossil fuel, it produces CO2 and water vapour. This combination is put through turbines to generate electricity. Afterwards, the water vapour is cooled, condensed and removed, and the remaining CO2 gas is safely captured. Those are the three main carbon capture technologies, pre-combustion, post-combustion and oxy-fuel. The captured CO2 is what scientists classify as inert, meaning it's like many naturally occurring gases, very stable. After the CO2 is captured, it's compressed at high pressure. This turns it into a liquid. Once in this state, the liquid is transferred to a suitable storage site. If it's close by, trucks are used. If it's further away or large volumes are being transported, we use pipelines. In the US alone, there are pipelines stretching thousands of kilometres, and they've been safely transporting CO2 for enhanced oil recovery for years. The next step is storing it safely and permanently in deep underground rock, a process known as geosequestration. Storage sites are carefully chosen. We select ones with vast stores of porous rock deep underground. This porous rock is like a sponge, filled with millions of microscopic holes. As we inject the liquid CO2 into porous rock, it spreads through the gaps and fills these holes. Directly above this porous rock is an impermeable layer. It's non-porous, meaning it has no tiny holes. It acts as a cap that the liquid CO2 can't break through trapping the CO2 from escaping. It mimics a natural process. Hydrocarbons, like oil and natural gas, have been doing this for millions of years. Over time, the CO2 can be dissolved in salty non-drinking water, or react chemically with surrounding rock, producing stable carbonate minerals. We're also trialling storing the carbon in saline water saturated rocks, depleted oil and gas fields, and coal seams. So the carbon is captured, transported and stored safely away from the Earth's delicate atmosphere. But the process doesn't end there. A sophisticated monitoring system is in place to keep track of our stored CO2. Monitoring is done on three levels. The subsurface, the soil and the atmosphere around the site. Capture, transport and storage techniques have all been successfully used for many years. The challenge now is creating a fully integrated system one which can be built into new power plants and bolted onto the existing ones. Think of the difference this will make. Successful carbon capture and storage projects are underway all around the world. They're a critical part of any solution to climate change. You can follow their progress on New Gen Coal.